Hello and welcome to this bonus episode of the Resident Evil Retrospective. Now, I've covered Resident Evil 1 on the director's cut. I have covered Resident Evil 1.5, but there's one more thing that I wanted to go back to, but not particularly cover in a massive amount of detail. If you bought the Resident Evil director's cut, you did get a demo for Resident Evil 2. And I went hunting around and managed to get a hold of it. So I'm going to do a little let's play of the demo disc just because I wanted to and just wanted to briefly mention that that happened and it's significantly different uh, in the opening to what you actually play in the main game. So let's cut to me doing a let's play of Resident Evil 2 the preview. So let's dive on and do a quick let's play of the preview of Resident Evil 2. Now you pick this up, oh this is one of the main reasons I went hunting for back in the day and recently because I had to rebuy it the director's cut of Resident Evil. Now, if you bought the director's cut of Resident Evil, you got a demo disc with a preview of Resident Evil 2 in. And at the time, I was highly, highly excited for Resident Evil 2. I loved the first game, and the second game had me absolutely thoroughly excited. It's been a while since I've played this, so let's have a look here. Do you remember that bizarre mystery that bizarre mystery that took place in Raccoon City? I shall learn reading is not always a strong reading out loud is not always easy. Although it appeared to be solved, good grief. I love the typewriter effect because obviously it did it in the game, but this is a bit slow. So although it appears to be solved by the stars team, two months later, the real nightmare began. Oh, begins. Began, begins, 50-50 well, chance, either one worked. Oh, so no video, straight in. Uh, no choice of characters, you know, so you get Leon. I'm going to jog around here. Uh, as far as I know, you can't get the super zombie, Brad the super zombie, in the demo. That's only in the game, so... I'm going to show you that the demo lies a little bit. Or the preview, I don't... Demo, preview, whatever you want to call it. It's... Either one works. I think we're going to get the uh, cutscene here. Mr. Kendo, the gun shop owner. Yeah, yeah, so... If you guys watched the video on Resident Evil 1.5, you'll know that this guy here was originally going to be one of the people that helped Eliza out in her story campaign as she went around. It was him and uh, Sherry. Uh, obviously, Sherry remained to help out Claire in her story in this version of the game. And I think that's the only person, yeah, because it's one of each, isn't it? You have Ada helping out Leon and you have Sherry helping out. Claire and you run into Annette and is it Ben I think the reporter and Claire also runs into Chief Irons who's really freaking creepy in this one. Okay so this is one thing I have to laugh about the demo it lies to you because it gives you a lot of because I let's see aid spray of course I'll take the aid spray and then bullets which to be fair it is a gun shop kind of logical that the gun shop would have bullets so, any more that's that's 45 bullets resident evil is not usually this generous with its bullets any more any more if I remember correctly I think getting to the police station is a lot easier in the preview than it was in the game Ooh, typewriter if I, yeah, I was going to say there's no ink ribbon. There was no, there's no safe feature in in the preview. So, is that an ink ribbon next to it? There's definitely something there, but yeah. Okay, save is not available in the preview. Oh, there we go. Maybe I should actually read what it says. Oh, and um, bye bye. I like the fact he took the. <laughs> this is two months later. I mean, I can't remember what the time scale of infection in the city is. But all he does to save himself is lock the door, which he hadn't done already, because we obviously came barreling through the door. He never thought to you know, put shutters on the windows. Now, I'm English, we don't have gun shops, but you'd imagine they'd have some security over the windows to, you know, stop people ram raiding and you know, breaking in that way. Anyone in the States want to tell me? Ah, reload. You know, pop it in the comments down below, let me know. Now, why am I run back over here? Give it to me. Yes, he stopped reading, he's dead. And this is how you get the shotgun. Really, really early. So. 
don't know if you get. I look forward to actually. I haven't played Rest Two in a couple of years now, so I look forward to actually going back and finding out if I can get that shotgun that early on in the game. Obviously, there is some big differences between this and what's actually released. Like I said, it's a lot easier to get to the police station. I can ignore all those zombies because they're behind a fence and I don't care. And over the bin. I think actually in the game this area is blocked off and you have to come through some buses. As you can tell, this is definitely not anything from the, the 1.5 build. This is from a much later build. Oh, you're going to be right in front of that gate, aren't you? <laughs> Zombies. Slow and stupid. Now, one thing you will notice, the characters and the zombies themselves, as well as the areas, are a lot more detailed than they were in the original game. You know, there's definitely a vast improvement graphically over this to the first game or even Director's Cut. Not the remake. I hate the fact I have to stress that, but I don't think anyone's dumb enough to get that those two confused. And Leon just looks so much more detailed and more interesting to look at than than the either Jill or Chris from the original game. Right, and into the now convoluted police station. So it's not as modern as it was in 1.5. This is the one you will all know. You have to forgive me. I'm not used to doing this much talking. At this, I'm having to have a drink. Oh man, this is such a classic, classic location for for the franchise. At least I can somewhat talk about Resident Evil 2 in this. You know, we get to see upcoming locations. You don't get to see much more than the first half of the police station, but it's so nice to more bullets. See, this this demo lied. Oh, the computer's on. Can I use it? No. Okay. Not for now. It gives you so much ammo. It's Resident Evil games don't give you this much ammo. Oh, normally if it is giving you this much ammo, you're starting to panic because you know there's a boss fight about to come. I think I need to switch over to the shotgun now. Or maybe we'll save it because... New enemy types and... Person or zombie? Uh, zombie. In the game proper, there actually is a person there. There's a, I think, is it Marvin, I think he's called? Uh, you dead. Look, they were getting ready for Le Leon's party. And more bullets! That's, what was that, four packs now? That's 45 in the ammo count. Oh my god. Any more? Any more for any more? Oh, yep, more. So many zombies. You dead? No, you're not dead. Drop. Drop. Drop! Oh, drop! Ow! Balls. So you really do have to keep... Yeah, it's dead now. Do you have to keep an eye on your ammunition? We have the beaky! Uh, do we go through this door back here? Probably not. No, I think it's fun on the list. <laughs> Anyone who's played Resident Evil... Ooh! Anyone who's played Res 2 is uh, definitely knows what it's funneling us towards. It's making us go towards an encounter, so... Man up and go take it on, shall we? You know what? It makes me laugh after do playing the... What you could have 1.5. It's nice to see the actual load screen represented correctly by the doors. It just used the same door over and over again to do the little load screen. So it's nice to actually have correct doors. Of course, this one. This has really got me Jones into play Res 2, so I'm really looking forward to going to that. I'm going to do the GameCube version, because it's a single desk, and to be honest, I think it looks a bit better. Uh, yep, of course, we're going this way. So, single disc, no, I'm not having to change. No. So, I'll do the, the, the GameCube version. I do own the PS... I've got a couple of copies of the PS2 version. A PS2, PS1 version. I've got the disc copy and I've got digital on my PS3. So, if anything goes wrong with the GameCube version that actually happened to me on the GameCube version of the remake, I at least can carry on. Right. Nope. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Of course, it's locked. <sighs> Yuck.
probably everyone's favourite new enemy type that they brought into this game is the Licker. It was great to see them come back in the later games, although they're still terrifying and gross. The other one that I quite like from this is later on in the game is the, the weird plant that walk around the lab and spit acid at you, poisonous acid or whatnot at you. I did quite like those, those were a good design. I'm running on autopilot here, I, I have played Res 2 quite a lot. Uh, like I said before, this is my favourite of all the Resident Evil games. MORE BULLETS! Seriously? More handgun bullets? This is a demo, you have given me a ludicrous amount of handgun bullets. There's no difficulty setting for the record, I haven't set this on the easy or put any cheats in. It's just giving me lots and lots of bullets. I really don't think the, the game gives you this many bullets. Though with Leon it's kind of necessary, you get an upgrade later to his particular pistol that turns into like a three shot, um, like little mini machine gun I suppose. But bloody hell, it eats bullets. Absolutely eats bullets. I think the shotgun, when you upgrade that, not, it can knock you back a screen, which is quite funny. I think the Magnum does that as well, but always remember to save your Magnum for the boss fights, especially if you're on Scenario B, because good God, Mr. X in his final form, his lava form, it's a nightmare. And my friend uh, Joshua Garrity just recently finished this. I don't know if Kane and Rince are doing an episode on it or whatnot, but he was having a hell of a time beating the last boss, and I can understand why. He, Mr. X is probably one of the... Ooh, Toughest bosses in the game. Hello. Goodbye. Is that door open? Nope, locked. Everything's locked. I do know. I do like. Oops. Missed the headshot. Oh, he's dead anyway, he's bleeding. I do like the more detail in the characters and the variety of different zombies, police zombies, weird crop top wearing female zombies. I like the fact they mix it up. So, ooh, can drop some stuff up. More bullets! Shall we have some more bullets? Thirty. Oh my god! And three aid sprays. Seriously? Did anyone ever? You know, apart from perhaps your first time playing through, did anyone ever die playing this? The preview demo, whatever you want to call it, because I'm not. In well, I suppose it is possible, but. Oh, no, I did not use that. <laughs> this seems overly generous. Three aid sprays, a shed ton of, I mean, 75 plus the 11. How many bullets? I don't need this many bullets. Yeah, you can do that film here. Hint, hint. Also, I do know that the Easter egg of Rebecca Chambers' picture is also not in the demo. So. You have to do that one in the main game. If you didn't know, if you search Wesker's desk in the star's office 50 times, you get a roll of film that's basically Rebecca from the first game in some sports gear, I think it is. Oh, the steps we go. Now, because I haven't played the full game in a long time, there's a door up here, and I can't remember ever going through it. I wonder if there was something on the other side of that door, is it a Mr. X door? Not sure. Not going to bother doing the puzzle to get that down. We don't need the rubies in this. But you basically just statues, opposite ends, and go onto the weight plates there. Yeah, I still remember this. I have played a many, many hours of Resident Evil 2. Like I said, it's been a few years, so the minor details might be missing, but certain things, like a lot of the first half of the game is still will always be burned into my brain because I... You know, back in the day, I don't know how many hours I dumped into this. You stay down. And reload. It must have been res 3 where the reload came in where you could hit another... I think it was square and you could... Instead of having to reload through the menu, the character would automatically reload the gun for you. Instead of like where they run out of ammunition, which is nice. I think I also got the quick turn in 3. 3 I'm not looking forward to... No. Three I'm not looking forward to going back to. I don't particularly enjoy three. Um, just I don't particularly enjoy being chased by Mr. X as well. So that's, it sort of triggers my anxieties up a little bit. But you never know. Maybe I will change my opinion. My opinion has changed on two games recently. So 
be interesting to see how that goes. And into the star's office. The reason I went to the end of that corridor, I'm sure if you go do that in the main game with the on, you see Sherry, or is it Claire? You see Sherry crawling through a gap in the door, but obviously not there, so. Here's the star's team. No, Rebecca, mind you, she's the rookie new. They're mostly dead now. Wesker's desk, like I said, this one. 50 times in the main game, you'll get a bonus off a picture. It's not worth it for the record. Gee, gun parts. Whose desk could that be? Replica of a gun. I'm not commenting on that line, but hey. Yeah, that's going to be Barry's. I do like the fact that they do throw you sort of this look into the lives of the previous characters. Here you can see, like, Chris. You actually have Chris's diary here. So not going to bother reading it and basically I think this is the one that tells you they've buggered off to Europe and he's not told his sister which seems like a dumb idea considering she you know drives into the zombie infested town that's obviously Jill's desk I would assume with the aid spray back there that I'm in the way of back there this would probably be Rebecca's desk oh no it does have so that's four aid sprays this time gives you and we're about to finish it, so thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. I hope you've enjoyed it. Not something I do very often and not something I'm particularly good at, but I will uh, say thank you very much. I might do a bit after this, but I'll leave you with the ending. Okay, that was the preview disc that came with the Resident Evil Director's Cut of Resident Evil 2. So many titles there, I'm getting confused. I just want to cover that because it's slightly different to the opening that you got in the main game. And this was the first taste that we were given of what was going to be a huge hit in the franchise. And obviously meant that we did get a franchise because after this we eventually got three. And we got, well, we didn't get four straight away. We've got a, we've got a, go, a bit of a way to go before we get to four, but... We'll cover that in when we get to Resident Evil 4. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you disliked it. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well. And thank you very much for watching this bonus video. I've been your host, Neil Taylor, and I'll see you next time.